Just the day before the Global South Modernization Forum, we took scholars from around the world on a field trip to the autonomous driving base and robot world in Beijing E-Town to get an up-close look at China's latest achievements in transportation and robotics. Here's what the scholars had to say about what they saw and experienced. The way they were acting, uh, doing everything that humans do, show that robots are now becoming more than humans. <laughs> it is uh, extraordinary uh, that in China you did all this. Uh, I'm just so proud of you, to be honest with you, that to see all these extraordinary activities being done. I mean, seeing them dancing, seeing them singing, seeing them talking, seeing them reflecting. When I used to come to China, I was go taken to the museums, to the palace. But now when I come this time, now they are taking me to, to the science parks. So that's a significant difference. And if you listen to the presentations, like now with the robots, you can see that this progress was uh, registered from the, the last 25 years. So it's quite impressive the speed with which China has been able to make this progress. And it's not in the olden days or in the past, we used to talk about catching up with the West. But now it's not catching up with the West. China is already leading. After today's experience, I can see with my own eyes what I saw on TV, on media, and it's very impressive. China is going very fast in this technology career. I think it's not only because the hard working it was a coordination between government, between private sector, between people. So I think it's an interesting model that we can learn in other countries to cooperate with you. I would say that you are on the moon already in comparison with Europe. And Europe has now to, to, to learn a lot uh, from China. We saw today uh, unmanned uh, cars. We took uh, an excursion in an unmanned uh, bus. But again, if uh, this robot can teach also uh, people and children in uh, developing countries, it would be enormous, enormous step for the whole humanity because um, UNESCO stressed uh, recently that uh, there is a lack of 69 million teachers in the world. So you can imagine that if China is developing in this direction and there will be even robot teachers with AI in developing countries, it will resolve enormously their problems of national development.